Hi everyone, uh, Greg Phillips here. I uh, wanted to take a few minutes to comment on a technique to simulate dynamic theming in a Power BI report. Uh, we recently had a few posts on the Enterprise DNA support forum asking how to change the theme of a Power BI report dynamically. And in one case, the user sought to have a single content page reflect the theme of multiple departments or categories. Uh, as you know, as of May 2021, only a single theme JSON file can be used in a Power BI report, and a page can have only one background. So another technique is needed to accomplish the stated goal. Um, I thought that using bookmarks instead of page navigation and images instead of page backgrounds might simulate a dynamic theme and decided to give it a try. So here's what I've come up with so far. Uh, so here's a, a home page that has four buttons on it. Uh, one for each category uh, or mode of shipment, if you will. Um, and as you hover over each one, uh, you can see that the uh, on hover behavior is uh, changing the transparency. If I click one button, it'll take me to um, a category page with that theme. If I click back to the home, again, click to another button. Um, it comes to a different theme and Again, click the other button, comes to another theme, and click the fourth button, comes to a fourth theme. And once again, you can see that there are only really two pages involved in this. Um, so anyway, let's uh, build the solution together. Uh, but first, let's quickly go over a bit of setup. Uh, I started with a blank PBIX, then added a small shipping data set, in this case, based on the one used in the recent Enterprise DNA Challenge number 12. Uh, I then searched online and found some images that represented different shipping modes or categories, uh, followed by generating a basic color theme using the Colors Fan application of the Color Theme Generator of the Enterprise DNA Analyst Hub. Uh, there's a link down below to this application. Uh, I chose medium dark blue as the starting point, uh, then used the Colors Fan to generate a six color theme, which I then used to customize the theme of my Power BI report. Uh, finally, I developed a few DAX measures return the text and background or font color using the theme as desired. Uh, let's take a quick look. Um, so we can see here if I open up uh, key measures, we go to um, the color measures folder. Actually, before I get to too far started, I want to open the selection and bookmarks pane because we'll need those as well. If I look at uh, theme color six, for example, uh, we see it's just a hex code of one of the colors of my theme. Uh, this was the starting color, my medium blue, that I uh, chose. Uh, as well, we can see if I go to the uh, display measures, the table text uh, has a, uh, a value that is determined by the current category. Uh, as a, other than that, it's a simple switch true statement. Uh, if we look at the table, uh, table title font background measure, uh, it uses exactly the same switch true um, based on category, uh, but this time returns a color theme measure. Uh, similarly for the color um, of the font, it returns a white or black uh, that contrasts well with uh, the theme color. And similarly, I have a background uh, measure um, that's a duplicate of my table title font background measure, but just with a different name to make it easier to uh, set up and we can see I've got a small table down here so you can see what the results of those measures are. Okay, that's it for setup. Uh, now let's build the solution together. Uh, I'll build the new home to and content to pages so I can leverage the sample data already available and the measures I've already written. Uh, let's start with the content to page. Okay, so uh, let's create a new uh, home page just so that we've got something to navigate to. Um, but for the moment, we'll leave that alone. We'll go on to the content page. And to that page, we're going to add a, um, a, sorry, an image for uh, home. And we'll bring that up into this corner, make it a bit smaller, and set its action to go to the home page. Or sorry, to navigate to the, to the home page navigation home page or home to page, excuse me. Uh, then I'm gonna add a slicer for uh, the categories. And we'll make that slicer single select. If 
Perfect. Now we'll add a text box um, in the top corner for the title. And we'll call it just the ABC transportation. And we'll add a measure uh, in here for, or not a measure, we'll add a value in for a category. And you can see that that changes as we make different selections on our uh, slicer here. Uh, just for the fun of it, we're going to change this um, font and color and size, sorry. Make it a bit larger. Okay. Uh, next thing we're going to do uh, is we're going to add an image for each category. Now I'll add the first image for air shipping. Uh, we'll set its size to 00, zero uh, 1280, 720 for full size. We'll make sure the maintain later order is turned on. Um, in the selection pane, we're going to name this as well. And I can turn it off. Um, I'm now going to do that for the additional uh, images. For all four, I'll pause the video and start up again when I'm done. Okay, uh, I have all the images added. Uh, now let's add a table. Uh, I'll just turn this image, this last image off. Oops, sorry, excuse me. Why is it not turning off? Oh, because I've got it selected, that's why. Maybe not, I'm not sure why. Anyway, um, let's add a new table um, to this table. I will put it in the category for us to be able to see from our shipments table. I'm going to drag in the origin country, uh, destination country, and from our key measures category, I'm going to add in uh, the measures I've already calculated. And it's just something for uh, the table to chew on. Okay. Um, next thing to do is I'm going to uh, start altering the formatting of my table. Um, I will set the title text first off to be the measure that I already have calculated. Oh, actually, I should have said that earlier before. Uh, let's take a look. Oh, actually, I did say it before. So, uh, so field value and key measures and display measures and table title text. Uh, if I move the slicer up uh, above, you can see that the title of the table does change uh, based on the slicer. And uh, what else do I want to do here? Sorry, let's change the title font color. Uh, Sorry, I'm, I'm out of the uh, table. There we are. Okay. Uh, the table font color uh, we'll change to the table font color measure. And the table background color will change to the background color measure. Okay, and next we'll change the background of the table itself. We'll once again change that to the corresponding measure this time uh, for a table background. And we'll change the transparency to be a lower value. Okay. Um, we're going to add a bookmark for each image. Uh, so for the first one for air, um, let's uh, actually do a little bit of reorganizing here. That's the title. Let's move that up to the top. And the image for the home button, let's move that up to the top as well. And what do we have here? We'll turn off the rail and turn on the air. So that's great. We'll make a bookmark now.
And then we'll come make another selection here uh, for C. We'll change and turn the air image off, turn the C image on, and uh, we will add another bookmark. And we'll repeat that for the road as well. Uh, we'll turn off the C image, turn on the row image, or sorry, the road image, add a new bookmark. And we'll do it one more time uh, for rail as well. So turn off the road image, turn on the rail image, and add a bookmark. Okay. Uh, well, that's it for the home, or sorry, for the uh, content page. Let's move to the home page. Uh, okay, uh, let's just collapse these for the moment. Uh, we'll start, we'll add a blank button. Here, I'm going to turn off the outline. We'll make it size uh, 400 by 250, I found was a good size. And move it down uh, to like here. Uh, we're going to add um, an image, a fill image, uh, for this button here. Oops, sorry. Turn it on that image, and we'll add it for the air image. We'll set the image fit to fit, and the uh, default state is 50% transparency. So just for a change uh, to show it, let's make the zero transparency for on hover. So you can see that the button responds to something now. Uh, the next thing to do is uh, we will uh, add the bookmark action into it. Uh, this button here. We'll change it to be bookmark and that will go to the error 2 page. Uh, next thing we're going to do is set the title. Um, and this can actually be anything. We're going to choose to make it a transparent color so you actually can't see it. I like to name everything though because it makes it easier to find and order in the selection pane. We'll select transparent color for that. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is choose, uh, or sorry, I did the wrong one. Uh, that's the one that I want to be the transparent color. Sorry, I missed the selection. And the background color will make for the um, the theme color. We want theme color six. Okay, no, uh, I'm missing something here. I'm sorry. go. Um, okay, I'm going to do that um, uh, for three more times. We'll just select that button, come here and copy and paste it. Oops, I missed that copy, paste, paste, paste. And I'm going to adjust these up uh, to be uh, representing one for each category. Okay, so the second button. I'm going to change the fill uh, from air shipping to sea shipping. Again, set its size to fit. And I'll change the name. Uh, sorry, where is the title measure here? And there, we'll call it button C. And I'm going to change its background color to a different theme color, this one will be theme 5. And we'll change this uh, image, we'll change the fill to uh, from air shipping to road shipping. And again set its image to fit and uh, change the um, title background color. Uh, we'll change it from theme 6 to, let's say, scene, 
I think is the right one. And for the final button, uh, we will change the fill from near shipping uh, to rail shipping. And again, set the image fit to fit. And uh, change the theme color of the background to uh, theme two. There we go. Okay, so we saw on the uh, home page, or sorry, not on the home page, on the air page, or sorry, the air button here, uh, we had the action selected as bookmark air 2. We we'll changed the action on this one to bookmark C2. We we'll changed the action on this one to bookmark road 2. And we'll change the action on this one to bookmark rail 2. And there we go. Uh, so now we have our newly built solution. As you can see, when we control click uh, a button on the home to page, we are taken to the content to page uh, where the appropriate full screen image, uh, the background, if you will, is displayed for the selected category. Uh, we can use the home button uh, to navigate back to the home to page. And we'll just flip through a few of those so you can see. Uh, so, as of the May 2021 release of Power BI Desktop, uh, the following properties can be set for the table visual. Uh, the title text, the title font color, the title font background color, and the background color. Uh, the remaining properties cannot be programmatically set at this time, uh, but if needed, one could leverage this solution with multiple table visuals, one for each category, and adjust the pro properties and visibility individually as desired. Uh, it would be a bit more complicated, but additional flexibility would be possible. Uh, experience would lead one to believe as well uh, that additional properties will become customizable in future releases of the Power, of the Power BI desktop. Uh, so that's it. Uh, hopefully the Power BI team will add the ability to use multiple themes in a report. Uh, but for now, here's one technique or hack, if you will, uh, to simulate different themes. Uh, thanks for watching, and I wish you the best on your Power BI journey. Bye. Hey, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the content covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us, and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators. Uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website. Plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best. Take care.